Hello coffee friends and uh, welcome to this episode. I am Tom of Tom's Coffee Corner. And actually this video is gonna get slightly derailed. My first idea was I wanted to compare the JX Pro from Easy Presso to the Chestnut Nano from Time More. But unfortunately, I figured out that I can't really properly do that comparison until I get the Time More Nano fixed. So thank you to Max Moosterman for pointing out on my channel that the two burrs in here, when they are set for espresso, are actually hitting. And that is not a good thing. Let me show you what I mean. What I'm trying to show you is that you can see that that burr inside is off axis. This inner burr here does not spin perfectly symmetrically around the spindle. And after doing a little research, I found out that Max Musterman is right. This is a common problem, not only with the Chestnut Nano, but with other Time War grinders as well. And so what the issue is, is that this burr is held in place by a shim here. And when you remove the shim, you'll find that the burr moves around a bit, but there's a hack. What you can do is stuff something into an empty space inside to get the burr to actually stay put and that way it won't wobble while it's turning and it should stay on axis. So what we're gonna do in today's video is open this up and take a look at the paperclip hack. Let's go into the workshop. Okay, so as you can see here, there's this shim here and it's got two holes that you have to poke into in order to be able to remove it. So you can try with a couple of screwdrivers to poke in there and to unscrew it by going clockwise. Or you may have to try some different tools. I took this pick and used this in order to be able to loosen it. So this is pre-loosened, by the way. It was not that easy to get loose, to be honest. Okay, this way you can see there's quite a bit of play. Okay, so hopefully you can see that there's like a, there's a nose sticking out on this side, whereas on the other side there's nothing. And when you stick this in there, therefore, this side, it abuts pretty well, it kind of fits in there like a puzzle. But unfortunately there is quite the gap here. And so the idea is we want to stick something in there in that gap so that this doesn't have play anymore. Okay, so there are a lot of things that you could use to shim up this burr inside there. You could also use, uh, you know, something like this, or you could try various paper clips like that. I've got these really thin washers that came with the Graf CM702. Whoops. And these are great for shimming because they are so, so thin. So I've already poked one in there. And what you have to consider though, is whatever you put in there, it's gotta be underneath the top lip of that burr there. So that when we put the shim back in, that the shim is gonna be able to rest against the burr. So before we had to turn clockwise to loosen, so we gotta go counterclockwise to tighten it now. And now I'm gonna be quite curious how it operates. All right, let's see how it spins now. I think it spins a little better. The real test is at which point the burrs start touching each other. So before I had to open this up to 12 clicks, before they would stop abutting each other, and I'm hoping it's gonna be less than that now. So to put this together, we just have to drop the washer on, and then put this spring on, then comes the burr. Then we got this part that goes on there. Put the nose in there as it belongs. Gotta get it oriented right, okay, there we go. And just one more part, gotta put that clicker on. So, let's click it all the way to the end until it can't click anymore. And then we're gonna loosen it and see at what point the burrs don't touch anymore. Okay, so it's all the way tightened now. I'm gonna loosen it to, let's see, six. And say they're, they're just about loose enough. Let's try eight. Oh, that's pretty good. That's just what I'm looking for because I know from before 
that eight is right around espresso range. Let's try seven. No, seven still touches. So it's not perfect, but it's better than before. And just using one of these little metal washer shims. Okay, that's eight. Let's try it out with eight and see how it works. Okay, now that we've got our grinder shimmed properly, let's go ahead and make an espresso. 16 grams exactly. And I'm at eight clicks on the Chestnut Nano. Let's see how long that takes us. By the way, this is a medium roast and medium roast coffee or light roast coffee does take more time and more effort to grind. Okay, one minute and 15 seconds. And that does look nice and fine. Let's just do a little WD team. Excellent. We'll tamp that and see how the shot turns out. Being stuck in there. All right, well, there you go. That was a beautiful extraction. We got about uh, twice the amount, the two to one ratio, and right around 30 seconds with the Time More Nano, but shimmed. Oh, that is a nice, nice, delicious shot. At this point in the video, I would like to thank very much Piano CC. I learned how to do this shimming from Piano CC. I'm going to link his video uh, in the description down below. And I hope you liked this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up to push it up to the top a little bit and take a look at my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say uh, happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking.